Okay, so in the last video, we had a look at how to delete to do's. In this video, let's see how we can add edit functionality to our to do's. So, how that will work is that we want that anytime that we click on the to do name, that it changes to an input field, and then we can edit the name of the to do. And when we press enter, that um, change that we just did will be saved into that to do. Okay, so in order to be able to achieve that functionality, we have to make use of view components. So, let's go back in our code and um, do that. So in order to create a view component, all you have to do is create a variable and um, you can name it anything. So in this case, we're going to say to do component equals to view, not view, just vue dot extend. And in there, we're going to have to pass in some properties. Okay. So we have to pass in a data property in this case, because our to do will need data. But instead of returning just an object, we're going to have to set it as a function which returns an object. And in there, let's just return an empty object for now. Okay. So next, what we need to do is just define a template for our component. So in this case, let's just say template, which is the property of the to do component. And it has to be some string. Let's just say div. So basically, this is what is going to be rendered in a HTML anytime that you make use of this component. So in this case, let's just say our to do component. Okay, we have created the to do component, but let's register it now with view so that we can use it in our HTML. So we're going to have to say view.component and the name for it is to do. Remember, guys, this name here does not have to correspond to to do component. You can have, you can just name it something like my car. And um, the second parameter you're going to have to pass is um, the actual name of the component that you created here, the variable. So let's say to do component. Okay. So this here, we can name it anything, the string, but just to make it uniform, let's just leave it as to do component. So what that allows us to do is in our HTML, just like you do for stuff like P tags, open and close like this, we can do stuff like to do component and we can just close it and do this. And what that's going to do is it's going to look at the template and render that template in place of whatever we have here. Okay, so let's just um, delete those and go to our HTML and make use of this component because it has already been registered now. So inside of our index.html file, in the for loop here that we are doing for the to dos, um, let's remove this text part here. And instead of having a span that just shows the title for the to dos, let's just render that to do there. Okay, so I'm going to say to do component. Just bear with me for now. I'm just trying to make a point. So now, instead of just seeing the title for this current to do here, we're going to just see the template rendered um, here, our to do component. So back in our browser here, let's refresh. And we have an error. Let's see what happened. So to do component. So let's see what the problem is. Okay. So I'll just look at the Chrome editor here. Uh, so it says view is not defined. So apparently in my um, main.js line 8, I have an error there. So we'll go back here, line 8. So it says view is not defined. So I made a mistake in the spelling. It has to be VUE. So when I refresh now, we should see for each to do, instead of seeing the to do name, right now we are seeing the template. But that is not what we want. Basically, we want to see the text here. But also when we click it, it changes to an input field. So let's take care of the part where when we click it, it changes to an input field. Okay. So inside of our main.js, in um, this data function here, let's return an object which has a property called in edit mode. Okay. So let's just um, in edit mode. And the property will default to false. And the reason for that is because by default, a, um, a to-do is not in edit mode. Okay, so we're going to have to um, add some methods to our to do component here so that we can handle the stuff like click uh, methods, click handles. So let's just say methods, and it has to be an ob object, and we're going to name it clicked, and it's going to have to be a function that is anytime that we click on the to do, that uh, it just does this dot in edit mode equal to true. So anytime that we click on the name, it changes to true. So inside here, let's change um, the template here so that it actually shows or reflects um, this in edit mode here. So we're going to have to 
put in two things here a span tag just to display um, some text and an input field to allow us to edit so if you remember we had um, something called V show in previous videos which just shows an element if the expression inside the value there is true so we're gonna have to say V show equal to not in edit mode so when it's not in edit mode show um, this um, span tag here so we're gonna just uh, put some text here saying not in edit mode okay and if it is in edit mode we're gonna have to show this input field here so let's say input v show equals to in edit mode okay so just ignore this methods um property here for now so do you see what we're doing here if it's in edit mode we show the input field if it's not in edit mode we just show that not in edit mode so i'll just show you that quickly so when i refresh guess what will happen it's gonna say not in edit mode so let me just change this to be true for all um for all to do components so when i refresh this it's gonna show us that input field as you can see okay but that's not what we want we want that when we click on it it um, behaves accordingly okay so first what we need to do is address um, this text here not in edit mode we don't want that text to be showing there i just put that there just to make an example what we want is that for each to do the text will be whatever is in the title property here for each of those to do's so in order to be able to do that we have to accept properties in our to do's and to accept property in your um sorry not to do's in your to do component we're gonna have to set a property called props which um is views js specific so we name um the properties that we expect to um be passed along when you are instantiating the to do component so in this case let's say to do and in here what we have to do is since we expect that property we can just say to do dot title and that will extract the title for that to do but we're not done yet what we need to do is we have to bind that property to um, this component instantiation so let's say v dash bind and what do we want to bind we want to bind this to do here to um, this to do property so to do equals to to do so it's going to create a to do property for this component and set the value to the current to do that we're looping over okay so let's go back in our browser and refresh as as you can see we've been shown the input fields that's because we have in edit mode to true let's set it to false as you can see we have to do one two three four five okay so that's not enough let's um add a handler so that when we click on this it changes to the input field there so inside the template here let's just add a v dash on click so dash on click equals to clicked okay so anytime that's clicked it's going to change it to the input field refresh and when i click as you can see it changes but um that's not enough let's make sure that when it changes the value of that input field is the actual title of that to do and that's very easy all we need to do is set the model of the input field here to that current to do stamp text okay so v dash model if you remember from previous videos is to do dot text and this to do here is um gotten from the property that we passed in here okay so now let's go back to our browser refresh now when i click um, we still have the input field but we don't have the value set to that text there okay so let's do a bit of debugging and see what gone, what has gone wrong okay so apparently i made a mistake this shouldn't be text it should be title um, because we do not have a text property for each to do we have a title property okay so i'll go back here refresh now when i click as you can see to do one um, is being set and when i click here to do two well next what we want is anytime that we edit this and i press enter um this changes from uh an input field to the actual text as you see here okay so let's handle that so all we have to do is just add another event handler here so v dash on key up dot enter equal to let's create another um method function here and we have to set it um, call it saved and call it anything but saved is a very good one um, so now when it is um, when we press enter we have to change in edit mode to um, false 
so that the input field is hidden okay so now let's just change this value here to save or set it to save now when i um refresh this when i click on it it is in edit mode right now and i can edit to do one and let me just do this when i press enter as you can see the text editor has disappeared and now we're being shown the span tag um let me just show you in the chrome browser here um inspect the tag so let's just inspect this element here as you can see right now it's a span tag and the input field is hidden now when i click on this just have a look at what's happening right down here click and the input field is um shown with the value being um, to do three and the span tag is um, being set uh, style of display none and I can edit this here to do three 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 as you can see it's updating here but um, it's if it's um, because it's hidden that's why you're not seeing it now when I press enter that should um, be shown okay guys so that's how we create and make use of components in Vue.js um, components are very powerful and this is just um, touching on the surface and um, as we're going along in this tutorial series, I'll probably touch on more advanced component usages. But for now, this should do and set you on for a great view understanding and VJS components understanding. I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.